What's going on guys? So if you haven't seen any of my videos on these destination style travel trailers, you're probably not going to want to miss this. The insides of these things resemble that of a small or tiny house or even a cabin. And I really do believe that's what a lot of people are wanting to go to now, especially if you own a piece of property or maybe if you just want to rent a spot at an RV resort, kind of gives you that tiny home kind of feeling. So if that's you, sit back and let's get started. So first and foremost, you have to understand that this thing is not designed to be moved up and down the road that often. Just look in the background. That full profile fifth wheel is the same height as this absolutely enormous coach. 13 feet, five inches to the highest point. And let's take a look at some of the numbers. 40 feet, four inches long, 10,925 pounds as it currently sits. Gross vehicle weight rating, 13,841. It's gonna be riding on 6,000 pound axles and you're gonna be sending over almost 1,900 pounds to the hitch of your truck on like a fifth wheel where the main load is in the bed of the truck. This is gonna be right on the bumper. And it's not the most aerodynamic as well. A lot of windows on this flat front end, plus you do have the lip, which is gonna act like a parachute with that wind going down the road and it's just gonna grab, creating a lot of drag. I'd recommend pulling this with at least a dually with a dual wheel setup. And I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna give me some slack and say, yeah, I can pull that with my, my half ton. I would not recommend even attempting to pull this thing with such a smaller vehicle. Camper's gonna be resting on one really strong foundation. 12 inch I-beam construction. This camper does have a rack and pinion slide on all the slides. And it's going to be stabilized from four different sets of scissor jacks a lot of customers once they get these things in place some will even have blocks installed in the middle and in the rear just creating an overall sturdier foundation and one really cool thing about this the tongue jack on these is designed to be removed if you were to happen to put it in place and maybe put skirting around it and another question that arises if you were to remove that what do you do with your propane bottles You'd have to then resource out to maybe a local gas company to come and set a bigger bottle in place, but it is doable. Power connections found back here, providing you with right at 25 to 30 foot power cord. Sewer connections, you're only gonna have one behind the tires. And all the pull handles are gonna be located on that 12 inch I-beam construction. Black tank flush, city water connections, all done from right over here. Everything nicely organized. And that's gonna be that 10 gallon gas or electric hot water heater. Coming around to the back, they have upgraded the tail lights from last year's model. You now have LED lights compared to the halogen light bulbs. 17 foot awning. You've got two doors. And again, look at all the glass. Another reason you don't really wanna pull this up and down the road that often. Taller entry door though, six foot two on both of the entry doors and this will have a friction hinge. This camper's got outdoor speakers, but I don't see a TV mount. So you'd possibly would have to put a table out here. You do have an LP quick disconnect. So if you did add that table for your TV connections, you can maybe put a smaller propane grill on the outside as well. I have seen some of my customers in Florida who bought one, they built a nice big deck right across the front. Thing looks absolutely sharp. Stepping inside here, looks like you got right at 15, almost 16 feet of walking space. And this thing resembles a lot like a house. And just look at all those windows. Lots of natural sunlight coming in. You got two, three, seven, eight different windows just in your living room alone really high ceilings over eight foot tall campers gonna be cooled from two coleman mock air conditioners you do have theater seats plus the sleeper sofa there and this entire slide reminds me of a smaller condo just really nice everything's organized you do have the electric fireplace that produces right at 5000 btus of heat you can also turn the heat off and just maybe utilize the lights for your guests who maybe are sleeping on the sleeper sofa here in your living room. Nice high cabinets. This is gonna be your pantry for most of your goods. 
pretty much a wall style pantry really deep and those are the caps for those wheels on the outside all the controls for the coach are going to be located inside of this one cabinet here which you do have additional storage down there side operations your light operations water heater water pump even your tank monitoring station for those holding tanks that's where the term destination comes from a lot of people would call these park models back in the day and that's because park models did not have holding tanks nice big LG refrigerator over 20 cubic foot freezer on the bottom fridge on the top and that's one thing that's really cool about these destination trailers is the appliances a lot bigger than your traditional size camper solid surface countertops which is nice I love the prepping space and they also bring some of it over in front of the TV I would have liked to have seen more darker colors maybe adding a little contrast to the kitchen island there let me show you this oven so four different burners this will be the larger of the four and these grates are just absolutely massive standard microwave plenty of cabinet space though with those soft closed latches you do have the kitchen island in the middle with a single basin drop-in sink and you do have the leaflets maybe to extend more prepping range if you maybe are doing a lot of cooking this camper is set up quite nicely with all the different counter space in it freestanding dinette with four chairs and that's a legless table so you don't have to worry about really hitting your knees you do have some carpet found in this one slide out not a big deal though it still looks great with this floor 96 inches wide i forgot to mention that in the beginning sliding glass door and they provide you with these little drapes these will come in a box and you would have to install these once it gets to your location you do have some additional storage found over here so lots of pantry lots of storage space for all of your goods nice deep cabinets also but one cool thing i like the most about this is the shower room just about a residential shower with all that additional headroom over eight foot tall inside of the ceiling inside of the bathroom here you do got about a six maybe eight inch step up to get in there you have a porcelain foot flush toilet linen closet almost to the ceiling those are about eight inches deep also think you're gonna have a hard time reaching that top one so you would definitely need a stool coming around vanity looks really nice there's plenty of space lots of moving space inside the bathroom medicine cabinet really really big and you do have that max air control for the fan looking way up there let's go back here to the master bedroom now tons of storage found on the back wall there's your second coleman mock air conditioner they're both going to be racetrack together but look at that a little bit of a dead space i would have liked to maybe have seen something maybe that extended up just a little bit more you probably if they would have done this right extending that to the top you probably could have added another set of you know drawers pull out drawers there for your guest king size bed to the benches of a 70 by 80 and you do have a little nightstand built right in raised headboard all the windows are trimmed out with these black roller shades and i should have turned on the led accent lights let's come back over this way now and show these to you sandpiper used to have a lot of blue led lights and they finally have gotten rid of them so this model is a 2022 and a half almost getting into the 2023 models washer and dryer connections found on the back so remember this outside i showed you on that 12 inch frame all the pull handles and some of those were labeled galley but one of those galleys is for your washer and dryer connection so if you're outside and you got your washer and dryer running inside and you notice that there's water flowing you might have forgot to pull that pull handle just to let all this water out one thing i wish they didn't prove on when it comes to this tv right here a lot of manufacturers are doing this you're trimming out a box making it look nice it does however it really limits you on how big of a television you can have on a coach like this but overall looks just like a smaller house compared to a lot of the campers that you may see on this channel let's take a look at the msrp so the date and time of making the video eighty three thousand five hundred and twenty dollars 
for pricing and availability, there's always going to be a link found in, down in my description taking you back to my website so you can also view more additional photos of these coaches as well. If you get back to the website, there's not this particular model there. There's also an email address as well as a phone number for you to reach out to me. Maybe you're interested in this particular model. We can definitely get it for you. Continue to like and subscribe. Leave me your comments telling me what you think of these really awesome destination trailers. Come see us.